ADP Hydrolysis, Wikipedia Article Audio ADP hydrolysis is the reaction by which chemical energy that has been stored in the high-energy phosphoanhydride bonds in adenosine triphosphate is released, for example in muscles, by producing work in the form of mechanical energy. The product is adenosine diphosphate and an inorganic phosphate, orthophosphate. ADP can be further hydrolyzed to give energy, adenosine monophosphate, and another orthophosphate. ADP hydrolysis is the final link between the energy derived from food or sunlight and useful work such as muscle contraction, the establishment of electrochemical gradients across membranes, and biosynthetic processes necessary to maintain life. The description and typical textbook labeling anhydritic bonds as high energy. Bonds can be very misleading to students. These bonds are in fact relatively weak. They do involve high energy electrons but the bonds themselves are quite easy to break. As noted below, energy is released by the hydrolysis of ADP when these weak bonds are broken requiring a small input of energy followed by the formation of new bonds and the release of a larger amount of energy as the total energy of the system is lowered and becomes more stable. How much energy ADP hydrolysis produces? Hydrolysis of the phosphate groups in ADP is especially exergonic, because the resulting orthophosphate group is greatly stabilized by multiple resonance structures making the products much lower in energy than the reactant. The high negative charge density associated with the three adjacent phosphate units of ADP also destabilizes the molecule, making it higher in energy. Hydrolysis relieves some of these electrostatic repulsions, liberating useful energy in the process by causing conformational changes in enzyme structure. In humans, Approximately 60% of the energy released from the hydrolysis of one mole of ADP produces metabolic heat rather than fuel the actual reactions taking place. Due to the acid-base properties of ADP, ADP, and inorganic phosphate, the hydrolysis of ADP has the effect of lowering the pH of the reaction medium. Under certain conditions, High levels of ADP hydrolysis can contribute to lactic acidosis. Hydrolysis of the terminal phosphoanhydritic bond is a highly exergonic process. The amount of released energy depends on the conditions in a particular cell. Specifically, the energy released is dependent on concentrations of ADP, ADP, and PI. The further the concentrations are from equilibrium the greater the absolute value of Gibbs free energy change will be. In standard conditions the value of delta G is between minus 28 to minus 34 kJ slash mole. The variability of the delta G value exists, because this reaction is also dependent on the concentration of Mg2 plus cations. The cation Mg2 plus plays a role in stabilizing the ADP molecule. But the conditions in a cell are far from the standard state. In fact the delta G in standard conditions would mean that the concentrations are close to equilibrium. And if cells were actually at equilibrium the change in Gibbs free energy would be zero. That would mean that no energy is acquired by ADP hydrolysis, and that would have fatal consequences for the organism. Because this reaction is often coupled with thermodynamically unfavorable reactions, to give an overall negative change in Gibbs free energy for the reaction sequence. The outcome of ADP hydrolysis is dependent not only on the studied organism, but also on the tissue or even the compartment within the cell. The current demand for energy must be taken into account as well. Variability in the delta G are therefore to be expected. 
it is important to realize how far away are the actual concentrations from the standard condition concentrations. They are lower by three orders of magnitude. Because these concentrations are so low, the reaction will be energetically more favorable. To find out the delta G in vivo in humans, the concentration of ADP, ADP, and PI are measured by using nuclear magnetic resonance. In a human body, in muscle, while in resting state the concentration of ADP is around 4 mm and the concentration of ADP is around 9 mol/l. And thus the ADP hydrolysis yields the delta G value of minus 64 kJ slash mole. After ischemia, when the muscle is recovering from exercise, the concentration of ADP is as low as 1 mm and the concentration of ADP is around 7 mol slash L. Therefore the absolute delta G would be as high as minus 69 kJ slash mole. By comparing the standard value of delta G and the real life value of delta G, we can see that the worth of ADP, as measured in humans, is almost twice as much as the worth of ADP in standard conditions.